SpaceX has tested out its massive Chopsticks Tower, a gigantic structure designed to guide the space company's Starship and Super Heavy Booster during launches and catch them upon their return to the surface. Why does SpaceX have Chopsticks? What are the uses and details of it? Let's find out! On a tower intended to assist the first East Coast launches of its next-generation Starship rocket, SpaceX has mounted a pair of rocket-catching arms. The second of several potential Starship launch sites has been under construction by the business for more than three years. Ironically, the business started constructing the pad before it began constructing the pad that will accommodate Starship's initial orbital launch attempts. The first version of SpaceX's Starbase Orbital Launch Facility, or OLS, which is in Boca Chica, Texas, is almost finished and might host the orbital launch debut of Starship in a few months. In late 2020, SpaceX started working seriously on building the Texas launch site for Starship. In late 2019, SpaceX began construction of the first Florida OLS for Starship, but the corporation afterwards completely abandoned approximately a year's worth of development by the end of 2020 after completely redesigning the rocket and its ground systems. Late in 2021, SpaceX started work on building the second Florida pad for Starship. Starship. OLS number two is still housed at the LC 39A pad at Kennedy Space Center, which SpaceX rents from NASA. SpaceX's intentions to utilize the same launch pad for Starship have been challenged by the fact that pad 39A is the only location currently capable of launching either the Crew Dragon crew spacecraft or the Falcon Heavy rocket. NASA's concern that a Starship failure would force SpaceX to be indefinitely delayed in completing its Crew Dragon or Falcon Heavy contracts with the agency caused the firm to deprioritize Starship's Florida pad, which slowed down work. Despite this, SpaceX has made great strides. SpaceX has built and assembled a second skyscraper-sized Starship launch tower, modified one of Pad 39A's enormous spherical tanks to store cryogenic methane, installed miles of plumbing, installed the legs of the pad's orbital launch mount, or OLM, installed a water deluge system at the base of the OLM, assembled the majority of the OLM's donut-like mount offsite, built a new enormous storage tank, and delivered a forest. Recent construction by SpaceX included the completion of a massive pair of steel arms, which were then moved to Pad 39A, mounted to a wheeled carriage, and positioned on Starship's Florida launch tower. Employees at SpaceX have dubbed the arms chopsticks, and CEO Elon Musk refers to the arms as being a crucial component of Mechazilla. The combined launch tower and arms that SpaceX has created to grasp, hoist, stack, and fuel both stages of Starship are referred to as Mechazilla. The most basic component of Mechazilla is a third arm that swings left and right while being anchored vertically in place. The swing arm has plumbing and an umbilical that attaches to the top stage of the Starship and provides fuel, gas, power, and connection. The chopsticks of the tower are much more intricate. The two arms are attached to a carriage by enormous hinges that latch onto three of the tower's four legs, with the help of a dozen appendages that resemble skates. The carriage may go up and down rails included into the legs of the tower thanks to the skate's wheel attachments. At Starbase, a SpaceX facility in South Texas, the chopsticks are arms that are affixed to Mechazilla the launch tower. The latest video demonstrates how Mechazilla uses the chopsticks to raise and lower Super Heavy rockets and Starship spaceship, the two components of SpaceX's massive next-generation Starship vehicle. The stacking of Ship 24 on Booster 7 on Thursday, October 20th is seen in the video, which SpaceX tweeted out on Friday, October 21st. If testing goes well, the first ever orbital test flight for the Starship program might take place within the next few months. Thus, SpaceX is preparing this pair for it. According to that letter, Mechazilla is intended to serve a variety of functions, including both liftoffs and Starship touchdowns. Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, has stated that if all goes according to plan, the enormous tower would ultimately capture returning Super Heavy vehicles, utilizing the chopsticks to hold the boosters beneath their steering grid fins. 
Musk claims that Super Heavy will then be immediately mounted into the orbital launch platform by Mechazilla, potentially permitting extremely rapid turnaround times for Starship missions. Although SpaceX is well known for frequently recycling its workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, these boosters must first be carried back to the launch pad after touching down in landing zones or on ships at sea. Steel cable connects the carriage to a powerful draw works that can lift the multi-hundred ton assembly up and down the tower while also carrying the intricate hydraulic systems that allow its bus-sized arms to operate. Once completed, even in moderate winds, the Florida Tower's arms will be able to accurately lift, move, stack and de-stack Starship and Super Heavy. In the future, SpaceX could try to capture Starships and Super Heavies out of the air and accelerate reuse by using its towers and chopsticks. Starship is mostly made of steel and is intended to be completely reusable. It is expected to be the largest, most powerful, and most competent rocket in history. To prove that the 120 meter tall rocket can even reach orbit, let alone be reused, SpaceX still has a long way to go. Theoretically though, Starship is designed to carry up to 150 metric tons into low Earth orbit orbit while still enabling the recovery and redeployment of its orbital Starship upper stage and suborbital Super Heavy booster. Even with the significant performance penalty that complete reusability involves, Starship will be the most capable rocket in history if SpaceX can reach those numbers. The Saturn V, the most powerful rocket ever launched, could launch up to 118 metric tons, about 260,000 pounds, into orbit and was totally disposable. Hey guys, aren't you orbiting around? Do us a subscribe to Space Getaway via satellites and support us on our journey. We have a bit more to cover, so let's go. SpaceX fired up Starship and Booster 7 earlier this month for static fire engine testing, during which each vehicle fired a single Raptor engine. The first time Booster 7 was on the launch pad with its whole array of engines was when just 20 of its 33 total next generation Raptor engines were mounted at the time. SpaceX employed Mechazilla to lift Booster 7 and transport it to a processing station at Starbase following the engine testing earlier earlier this month. Engineers installed the 13 additional Raptors there before Booster 7 returned to the launch pad. Currently, SpaceX is getting ready for further static fire tests, one of which will simultaneously burn all 33 Raptor engines on Booster 7. Once that occurs, SpaceX will be one step closer to launching Starship into orbit for the first time, which may happen as early as next month. One of the most ambitious aspects of a spaceflight enterprise that is already making history is SpaceX. A totally reusable rocket called the Starship is able to launch over 100 tons or 100 people into orbit at once. All of SpaceX's existing missions will be supported by the ship, which also paves the door for more ambitious ideas like a base on the moon or a metropolis on Mars. That's it folks, we have come to the end of today's video. How do you rate this innovative design by SpaceX? Let us know in the comments section. Hope you enjoyed the space tour, do subscribe to Space Getaway for more videos like this and click the bell icon for instant notifications. Bye!